Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Today I'm going to feature a guitar, a new one from GNL. This is the GNL CLF Research S500. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
If you're new to this channel, you might just want to subscribe to this channel, press that bell for notification of future videos and follow me part of Patreon to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I want to thank uh, City Music for passing me this guitar for review. This just came in like a day or so, or well, two days, right, uh, before. Uh, I went down to the grand opening yesterday and saw this and another beautiful guitar which I'm going to feature later on in a week. Uh, this is brand new. This is um, the S500. Now, if you guys have been noticing, I've played a whole lot of GNL guitars. Uh, 
in this channel. So the S500 was um, was from Fullerton Deluxe, you know, GNL. So beautiful guitar. If you're looking for a nice strat light guitar, the S500 is the one to go to. Um, with the MFD pickups and everything, it's a little bit more, how should we say, edgier and more versatile than a normal strat in many ways. Uh, this, on the other hand, is from CLF Research, which is famous for the Espada, for the Doheny, and for the Skyhawk, which I absolutely love. So um, this is the CLF take on the famous S500. So this project is undertaken by John McLaren of, of uh, GNL Guitars. And basically, you, you it's like a merge between um, two uh, types of um, guitar innovation. Um, you have the traditional, uh, more or less a standard traditional uh, take on the various Stratocasters and Telecasters from, from GNL. And then you have the CLF research, which is more innovative. Uh, well, for me, I think, you know, the, the designs are more, you know, daring, <laughs> more modern. Uh, and it's a, it's a, it's a good uh, mix because they didn't go too far uh, you know, by robbing this guitar of its uh, core uh, sound and core character, they didn't they didn't do too much to kind of like change it radically. So basically, you have a, a kume body with a very nice mocha finish, right, and a nice maple neck. Uh, GNL necks are really really nice. You know, uh, I've I've always been a fan of their maple necks, and this is also a maple fretboard with a medium jumbo fret um, with a fret radius of 9.5. You have a nice bone nut with a nut width of 41.9, right? Um, very nice Klusen tuners. And then you have this, this uh, what you call it, this is like a, 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 a steel bridge string tree, you know? Uh, this is, you know, you see this in all our CLF research guitars, the Skyhawk and the Spada. You see all this. Um, really nice. Uh, guitar stayed in tune really well. Uh, I, I was pleasantly surprised. So it stayed really in tune because I can see that uh, wow, the angle is not so acute. Like, you know, if you have a, a normal string tree, it would probably go down a whole lot. You know, so the string will have a, a little more angled uh, position. This is, this is nice. You know, the guitar stays really in tune. You have really nice um, black, sort of a pearl-like black um, dot markers, right? Side dot markers too. You also have the GNL logo on the back plate and the GNL dual fulcrum treble system. My favorite. One of my favorite. Uh, very smooth, very easy to play. It's set up really nicely because it's sort of floated. I can probably. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Right, uh, I think for the G string, it goes up to about one and a half tone around that. Now, the interesting part of it is the pickups. Apart from the logo, you have a very nice go fast uh, kind of style uh, the S500, which is very different from the GNL S500. You have basically the same MFD uh, single coil pickups, you have a five way pickup selection. You have the CLF uh, research kind of uh, knobs, which are so crazy about because they are so heavy duty. Yeah, it, it just reminds me of the old um, 50s, you know, the, the, the old 50s kind of stuff that you'll see on your radio and, and whatever you have, you know, your amplifier sets. So it's just really nice, it's heavy duty. But the volume knob is pretty smooth, so you can do volume swells with it. The uh, PTB, which is the passive treble and bass control, are nice. They are not sm too smooth because you might just, you know, accidentally shift it. So they, are, they can't like, stay in place if you want to, but not too um, uh, sticky. Yeah. And then you have this nice toggle switch, which is a suspender switch, which gives you two options. Um, if you're on the bridge or the net pickup and you flip this up towards you, it will activate the bridge and the net pickup together, right? And then when you are in either the fourth or the second position, it will activate all three pickups. Yeah, so you get a really nice combination of all three pickups. You either have that or just the bridge and 
the uh, neck pickup. So all in all, you have seven sounds in this guitar. Input jack is here. Um, basically, just like any S500 that you see, uh, with subtle differences, right? Um, the headstock, the expander switch, the bar string tree, you know, and the basic feel of it is a little bit different. Um, playing wise, this neck is fast, it's easy to play, 9.5 fret radius is, is, uh, is comfortable for me. Now the neck is not sticky, uh, it's pop. I don't know, the, the guitar is probably finished with a polyurethane finish, I'm not, I'm not, not too sure about it, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, today, it's really humid uh, in Singapore, so if I take this out, of this studio, you know, it probably gets real sticky because of the of the environment that I'm in. But in the studio, it feels okay. You know, it's, it's okay. Now the pickups, right? So the expander switch uh, gives you that two additional sound of uh, neck and bridge and all three pickups. is a is a real welcome um, addition to this guitar. This guitar, uh, the S500, is really nice. You know, it has that strat sound that you want with all three single calls, and they're powerful enough to drive any amp, you know, any uh, sort of overdrive or, or, or overdriven preamps in your amps and they're really nice, you know. They, the only thing about the S500 is that it really cuts through. So you have to kind of like tone down your, your treble control a little bit, especially when you're going on the overdrive uh, mode. Um, other than that, it's, it's, it's pristine, it's, it's warm at the same time, so it's, it's a real nice uh, strat like sound, but with the expander switch with all the combination of the, of the pickups, yeah, you, you get another dimension of it, and I think it's so useful, so versatile. Nice, right? Let me know what do you think about this guitar and leave a comment in the comment section below. Now, the guitar is available in other finishes, so I think there is one with the tobacco sunburst, if I'm not mistaken. And guitar is available in Singapore and City Music, so if you haven't been to the new place, check it out and have a go at it, you know, play it with an amp and uh, see whether you like it or not, okay? Um, guitar is available in Sweetwater for all you North Americans or Canadians out there. So I'm gonna put a link in the description for the heck of it. Okay, I'm gonna put a link for Sweetwater for you uh, so that you can take a gander at it you know, if you choose to. Um, again, my thanks to City Music for passing me this guitar review. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Like this video, press the bell for notification of future videos and follow and be part of patrons to support this channel. I would appreciate it. Thank all my patrons for their wonderful love, their wonderful friendship, and their wonderful support. Thank you so much, guys. In the meantime, you guys please take care of yourself, and I'll see you real soon. Auf Wiedersehen!